Good morning everyone, it's Autumn and it's time for another video. And the reason why I say good morning is because I just woke up and I haven't gotten dressed. I haven't brushed my hair, I haven't changed out of my pajamas, I haven't even gotten clean. And if this was smell-o-vision, you would probably be disgusted by my B.O. Why am I telling you this? Because today's video is all about body image. I'm currently on summer vacation, and if I'm not going outside of the house, I don't have to worry about getting ready and making myself look presentable to the rest of the world. I am perfectly fine with sitting around in my pajamas all day and not worrying what anybody thinks because the only people who are going to see me is my immediate family. But if I want to go out, I have to do a whole bunch of things in order to look my best. Um, and so obviously I'm, I'm covered up here. I mean, I have my hoodie on and I have my, uh, my, my, sh my pants actually on my, um, my Dr. Mario pajama bottoms. So I plan on going out later this afternoon. So I actually have to take care of a bunch of beauty norms that aren't really up to par right now. I have to make sure my legs are shaved because uh, you know, even though I shaved them just a little bit ago with like a day, uh, they're not like perfect. So I gotta make sure that I'm totally cleaned up, that I'm totally shaven and I have a bunch of deodorant caked on. Um, I have to wash my hair. I actually got my hair dyed recently. I got it lightened. Um, this is the first video where my hair is dyed. My hair isn't clean. It hasn't been washed. It has, uh, in like 24 hours, it hasn't been like scrubbed and so it's oily and greasy right now and this is how my hair naturally falls. I haven't brushed it um, at all since I've woken up uh, and so I have to scrub my hair super clean. I have to condition it, I have to brush it out and then I have to blow dry it. Pretty much this is going to take a whole bunch of prep time opposed to me just, you know, going to uh, crawl out of bed and then be able to go outside the house. So between now, when I'm recording this, I'm gonna start a, uh, a stopwatch timer and I'ma let you know what it takes, how long it takes to, to get all this done. All right, here goes the stopwatch on my phone. There we go. Out of the shower. So here's where we are. I've selected clothing, um, and I'll show you just now. Got my funny t-shirts. I love it. I brushed my hair. I don't have any makeup on. Um, I'm gonna blow dry my hair. I might put a little bit of makeup on, but there's no retouching. So this is when my hair generally looks the best. It's just now blown dry and uh, brushed out. So it's fluffy. So with hair done, relatively, this is where we are. So here's my face, all covered with makeup. Um, literally, actually. I have concealer on, which I normally don't wear, even when I do wear makeup. Um, it's supposed to even out skin tone, and it covers like different red spots, um, which include zits. Um, I have on some eyeshadow and mascara, uh, lipstick and lip gloss, and uh, yeah, so it's kind of sort of totally different in my opinion. And here's the final result. I'm now able to step outside my house. Ta-da! I'm all done. I'm all painted up. I'm all dolled up. I'm ready to leave the house and uh, look presentable to the rest of the world. Um, I hope you found this video uh, enjoyable to watch and insightful into how long it actually takes to actually like get ready-ish, I mean if you're a girl. I was inspired to make this video by watching the documentary America the Beautiful. I highly suggest you check it out, it's on Netflix. The way we present ourselves to the world is uh, important even if you don't care what other people are thinking. Other people are still judging you and taking notes mentally and you know forming opinions about you even if they don't know you and that is a shame. Um, and a lot of times because people don't look like uh, a specific 
way or, to, or someone doesn't conform to the cultural beauty norms, uh, then they can be judged in a negative way. Um, I have been judged before, um, and a lot of times I would wear clothes to cover up my body uh, because I didn't like the way I looked, and I, it was a real internal thing. It was unhappy with myself on the inside, and uh, I think we do put too much emphasis on the outside of how people look, and um, really this is just a huge cultural, social thing that you know, girls have to deal with as soon as they hit puberty and when hormones kick in and when the rest of the world is trying to sell you things, it can really be confusing and when you don't live up to those standards that society is setting for you, your peers are gonna let you have it. And it's important to let every female in your life know that they are beautiful the way they are and even, you know, little girls, they're beginning to hear messages and the things you say and the things you do, they send a message to them and it affects how they grow up and it affects the kinds of adults, young women and uh, ladies they'll be later on in life. And so it's just something to really think about culturally and to think about personally. I hope you found this insightful. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Autumn. Have a great day, and you're beautiful.